Hello and welcome to the Combed K UGET 2025 and Unique Gauge E 2025 registration and application video. This video is designed to help you with online registration and application process for the Combed K and Unique Gauge 2025 examination. Application form can be submitted online by following a three step process. It begins with registration, followed by filling the application form and finally, making the online payment of the application fees. Let us look at each section in detail, beginning with registration. To register for Combed K and UniGage E2025, log on to the following mentioned link. If you are a new candidate, go to click here to register button, below the login button. Please note, before filling the form, Kindly read the instructions in the notes section carefully. Your user ID and password will be generated only after you fill the required details. Enter your full name of the applicant, mobile number, and the email address in the given fields. Note: Make sure that you enter your name exactly as it appears in your government ID proof that you will upload and carry on the exam day. Enter your email address again in the confirm email address field to confirm the same. Also enter your 10 digit registered mobile number in the confirm mobile number field to confirm the same. Note: The email address and mobile number once used for online registration cannot be used again. You will receive an important communication for Combed K and Unigage 2025 on the mobile number and email address that you have mentioned during online registration. Note: the mobile number and email address should remain the same till the admission process is completed that is for next 6 to 8 months. Request for change of registered mobile number and email address will not be entertained. Click Generate OTP to receive the OTP on your mobile number and email address. A new window will open with a space to enter the CAPTCHA text. Enter it correctly and click Submit. After entering the CAPTCHA text correctly, a pop-up will appear. Kindly use the OTP received on your mobile number and email ID. Enter the OTP on the registration screen. Click OK to navigate back to the registration screen and enter the OTP. Next, enter the mobile and email OTP on the registration form and click to validate OTPs. If the OTP is correct, you will receive a message that the OTP has been validated successfully. Note, the mobile OTP is only applicable for Indian mobile numbers. After this you will be able to submit the registration form and will receive user ID on your registered email address and password on the registered mobile number. Next, read the declaration thoroughly and click I agree. Enter the CAPTCHA text and click Reverify. After clicking Reverify, check if the details entered for the column entered or selected value are correct. And in the column, select the checkbox if the entered value displayed is correct. Click Submit after selecting the checkbox. You will receive a pop-up alert message. Read the message carefully. Click OK to continue. You will be redirected to the applicant details page. You will receive the user ID on your registered email address and the password on your registered mobile number. Please note your user ID is your application number. Now, click Log Out button to navigate to login page. Your registration will be successful when you receive the user ID on your registered email address and password on your registered mobile number. Note, you will not be able to change your user ID at any point of time. So please save it for future reference. If you forget your password at any time click, Forgot Password. If you forget your password at any time click, Forgot Password. Now let us see, how to fill the application form. Visit the following link. www.combedk.org On the far right corner, click Register or Login. After logging in successfully, you can now proceed with filling the application form and making payment by clicking go to application button let us have a look at the process in detail before filling the application form 
go through the instructions carefully provided on the screen. The form is divided into five sections. You must enter your details in all the five sections to complete the application process. Note: All fields marked with an asterisk are mandatory to be filled. Now, click the tab Applying for, and read the Node sections, Engineering and Architecture. Please select your options after reading the brochures of Combed K and Uni Gauge available on the website. Refer FAQ section in the brochures to understand difference between Combed K and Uni Gauge and their benefits. Note: Combed K has 150 plus institutions located in Karnataka, and Uni Gauge has 30 plus universities across India. Important: If you are looking for admission only for architecture course then you do not have to fill this application. An application for architecture will be available on the website at a late point of time. Select the exam name, which you are applying for from the drop-down list, available in the Applying For. Select the checkbox Yes, if you were allotted any combed case seat in previous years. You have to mention the reason for not continuing with combed K, and mention the year of allotment, else select No. You must refer to the participating institution for the list of member institutions of Combed K and Uni Gauge and information brochure for complete exam details. Click Save and Next and let us move to fill personal details. In the personal details section, enter your personal details such as candidate name as per SSLC or 10th marks card, date of birth. Note that. The date of birth should be as per candidate 10th or SSLC marks card. The candidate name and date of birth that you enter here will be used to generate your admit card, rank card, allotment letter, and also during your admission to the college. Hence ensure that you enter the candidate name correctly as it appears in your 10th marks card. Now enter the unique ID proof of applicant and unique ID proof number of applicant. Note that. The ID proof that you select here must be shown in original during the entrance exam, and again at the time of admission. ID proof other than what has been declared will not be accepted. Also enter, gender, nationality, and person with disability details. The recorded details are visible, as shown on the following screen. If you are a person with disability, you need to select, yes for, person with disability option and you have to attach the PWD certificate in the Upload Scan Copies of PWD Certificate button. Note that the certificate should be duly authorized by medical board constituted by central or state government along with all details. If in case you require a scribe for the exam, in the Do you need a scribe option, select Yes. Note that candidate is responsible for arranging their own scribe. The provision of scribe is subject to approval by Combed K, committee based on relevant documents of the scribe provided by the candidate. Scribe should be below 16 years, or a student below class 10. Next in the Parents Information section, enter your personal details such as, father's full name and mother's full name. Ensure the names you entered here are same as mentioned in your SSLC, or 10th marks card, or as per the government ID proof of your parents that you will upload. Enter the rest of your parents' information such as, father or mother's occupation from the drop-down list. Parents' mobile number. Parents' unique ID proof from the drop-down list. And parents' annual income details from the drop-down list. Now, in the present address for communication purpose section. Enter the valid details such as address details where you are currently residing. Name of the nearest police station to your present address details state and district details from drop down list city and pin code as these will be used for important communication purposes select the checkbox as yes if your permanent address is same as present address or else select no if you select no fill the permanent address details and click save and next next in the category details read the note properly in the category details, select belongs to from the drop-down list. If you belong to Karnataka, 
then you have to select birth or domicile from the drop-down list. Note. The proof of domicile is only required from candidates belonging to Karnataka that is. In case of candidate is claiming Kalyana Karnataka region category seats, or claiming lower eligibility norms, if a candidate has secured between 40 to 45 percent, in 12th, or 2nd PUC, and belongs to SC or, ST or, OBC category. Candidates are advised to procure these documents and then upload the same in the application to be eligible for the category. Applications without the mandatory documents will be rejected. If you belong to Kalyana Karnataka region, select Yes from the drop-down list. Note that a certificate confirming the Kalyana Karnataka region status issued by the Jurisdictional Assistant Commissioner of the corresponding district is to be uploaded. The certificate must be in the name of the candidate only. A domicile certificate is also to be submitted. Ensure you procure the Kalyana Karnataka region and domicile certificate before submitting the application. Click OK. You have to select Kalyana Karnataka region from the drop down list. Select the category from the drop down list. If you belong to other backward classes, you need to provide subcategory details from the drop down list. In the academic details, Enter your education details such as, qualifying exam, qualifying exam completed or, pursuing, board of qualifying exam, state in which your institution is located, last studied, and city in which your institution is located, last studied. Enter your role or register number of 10th marks card, role or register number of 12th marks card, and other entrance exam details you're appearing. Ensure you fill in academic details correctly as these will be used during the time of your admission to your chosen college. Please select qualifying exam from the drop-down list. If you select others, then you have to fill the other qualifying exam details. Next, select qualifying exam completed or pursuing from the drop-down list. If you are going to write your exam this year then select pursuing. If you select qualifying exam as completed, then you have to select the month and year of passing qualifying exam from the drop-down list. If you select board of qualifying exam as other from the drop-down list, then fill the details of other board of qualifying exam. In the upload images and documents option, go through the general instructions for upload carefully. View the sample photo and sample signature images that are acceptable. Please ensure the images you upload are clear, readable and in vertical position, else your application can be rejected. In the student documents, you need to upload a scan copy of the following important documents. Applicant photo. Applicant signature. Unique ID proof as selected earlier in personal details. Applicant's SSLC or 10th marks card. HKR or KKR region certificate and domicile certificate, if you wish to claim KKR category seats. SC or ST or OBC certificate, and domicile certificate, if you are claiming lower eligibility norms. In the parents documents section, you need to upload a scanned copy of the following important documents as applicable. Upload applicant's parent signature, and upload scan image parent's government ID proof as declared in the application. Click, save and next. Next, in the exam city preferences and payments option, read the instruction given in the note box carefully. In the exam city preferences section, candidates can choose up to three different exam cities. Under each preference, you may select the city where you wish to give your exam from the drop-down list. The test cities are allotted to the candidates on first-come first-served basis. However, ERA Foundation or Combed K reserves the right to allot any other test city, other than the city chosen by the candidate. Next, you need to fill the payment section. In the application fee details, select the payment mode as online by using credit or debit card or net banking. In the declaration section, you must select the check boxes. Then, type the CAPTCHA and click Submit to initiate the payment. You are strongly encouraged to preview 
the complete details of your application by clicking the Preview button. The preview appears in a pop-up as mentioned here. Click OK button to navigate back to the application page. You can make the payment through internet banking and credit or debit card modes. You will be directed to the Pay You Payment Gateway depending upon your selection. After successful payment transaction, you will be redirected to the application summary with your payment transaction number. You will also receive a confirmation email with additional details on successful submission of your Combed K and UniGage 2025 application. The three-step registration process is now complete. For any further queries, please refer to the information brochure 2025 available on Combed K website. You have successfully completed the video on the process of applying online for Combed KUGET 2025, UniGage 2025. Thank you for watching the video.